610 here at Channel 2. Traffic deaths nationwide are on the rise. We've seen new technology in cars aimed at preventing these kinds of accidents. But traffic expert Anavid Reyes is here to tell us they might not be as dependable as you would hope. Anavid? Good morning, Owen and Lisa. According to AAA, a lot of work still needs to be done to ensure this type of technology can actually save lives. Triple A study found that over the course of 4,000 miles, cars with smart driving technology experienced some kind of issue every eight miles. Triple A researchers noted that the system struggled to keep the test vehicle in its lane, coming too close to other vehicles, uh, too close to the side of the road, guardrails even. Research also saw that this driver assistance technology disengaged with little notice to the driver. These are not meant to be automated vehicles, and these are advanced driver assistance systems are not 100% reliable. And most eye-opening of all, AAA's research shows pedestrian detection systems are also not to be trusted. The emergency braking systems perform inconsistently. Those pedestrian de uh, detection systems um, are not very reliable and they're completely unable to function at nighttime. Safe to say a lot of work still needs to be done by car manufacturers. AAA uh, believes manufacturers should do more simulations, close course testing, and actual on-road evaluations prior to uh, releasing these systems to the mass market. If your car has this technology, it's important you know how it works and also what it doesn't cover. Owen and Lisa. Very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Anna